Glory and honor to the Lord God Almighty. Good morning, everyone. Good. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. First of all, I would like to thank God for giving me this privilege. And also, I would like to thank uh, Pastor Abhishek Deepati for this opportunity. And also, I would like to thank Brother Chipim and and all the Thousand Missionary Movement administrators and the students for this uh, missionaries for this opportunity. Uh, as we study, as we learn today's presentation, uh, I request your favor to uphold me in your prayers as I'm going to share this message. Before we go further, shall we pray? Let us pray. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for Jesus Christ and his great sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Lord, here I am as an empty vessel. Lord, we pray the Lord to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Please guide me, Lord. We submit all the technology to your hands, Lord. We and the technology which you have given us are all belong to you, Lord. Lord, we submit everything to your hands, Lord. Please control of us. Lord, we pray the Lord. Please help us, Lord, to have good, good sound quality so that all of my brothers and sisters can Listen clearly, Lord. We pray the Lord. As we're going to learn this presentation, I pray the Lord to fill us with your Holy Spirit. Please guide us, Lord, to adapt the new technology which you have given us and help us, Lord, to learn new things. Please guide us with your Holy Spirit. We pray in Jesus' loving name. Amen. Amen. Well, before we go further, let me share my screen. As we look at all around the world, as this year 2020 began, we heard the news about bush fires in Australia, and we heard the news about volcanic eruption in Philippines. We heard the news about earthquakes in Puerto Rico and several places all around the world. And now the whole world is suffering with global pandemic, COVID-19. When we see all around the world, the people are worrying about their lives. The people are struggling, and the people are having many questions and their questions are unanswered. And we, as Christians, as God's people, we have the answers from the scriptures. Matthew chapter 24, verse seven says, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. The Bible predicted, Jesus Christ has already predicted us in the, book of Matthew chapter 24, we see the signs of second coming and we see all these signs are being fulfilled throughout the past and they're more fulfilling more now. And people are asking why these calamities, why these things are happening more now. The Bible gives us clear answer that these are the things, these are the beginnings of sorrows and these are the things which are going to happen before the second coming of Jesus Christ. We as God's people, we know this answer, but the world is still waiting to know the answers. But as Christians, we need to reach them with the answers. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Yes, the Bible clearly says that, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come. Which means this gospel needs to be preached to Hindus, to Muslims, to all the religions of the world. But when we want to enter into a high caste Hindu families, Hindu houses, will they allow us to enter into their house with the Bible, with the good news? The answer is absolutely not. When they came to know that you are a Christian, if you are, if you are, uh, if they come to know that you are a Christian, sharing the message, they will, they will try to harm you or they will try to do so many things. We have seen in many videos how they are persecuting Christians. And if you want to share this gospel with a Muslim, will they allow you to enter into their homes? Though you have good news with you in your hand. But when you want to share with them, there are so many obstacles. 
they will not allow you into their community they will not allow you into their homes if they come to know that you are sharing this good news of salvation the message of christ the people who are against christians they will definitely persecute us but the gospel needs to be preached to them because they are also children of god as revelation chapter chapter 14 verse 6 and 7 says that this gospel needs to be this is the everlasting gospel which needs to be preached to all the people around the world and then the end will come matthew chapter 24 verse 40 says and we have another another version of this verse matthew chapter 24 verse 14 as new aw version and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached shall be broadcast in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come which means this gospel needs to be broadcasted broadcasted in all media platforms that the gospel can reach to the people and then the end will come the people come to know that jesus christ is the lord and savior and this is the generation we are living in this age is called as digital age because the because of the technological revolution because of all these digital technology platforms are available for us we see there is so much of possibility to reach the world with the good news of salvation and in order to know that how we can reach them we need to go through this presentation and most of you would have known some of the tips and today we are going to learn more about those things we see through this digital technology adventist world radio is not only limited to radio station or radio broadcast it is adopting all the social media platforms that's why it is called as aw360 with the motto called broadcast to baptism so we have this theme that through this digital technology we have no walls no borders no limits we can reach everywhere if yeah we have seen that there is obstacle when we want to reach to some of the other religious or other religion people there are so many obstacles but through this media we can reach to their hands we can reach to their cell phones we can reach to the their living rooms with the gospel you can see a picture here we have come a long way from the early radio we see this radio it is the beginning early days of radio in the 1920s as the radio broadcast began in the year 1929 hms richard started regular radio broadcasts which means it took for him 9 years to adopt this technology to go into uh use this platform to share the gospel in those days and he was the first one to use this digital uh, use this radio radio platform to share the gospel though he has taken the decision to use this digital platform this radio platform to reach the people it took 50 more years for the church to establish its own radio station which means we see that it took 50 years which means 1970 our adventist church has established adventist world radio station which means but while radio is vitally important today as technology continues to move forward the church has often had a hard time embracing new technology as it comes when radio was introduced many people said it was the tool of the enemy Yes, it same with when the television was introduced when the tv was invented the people thought it is also the tool of the enemy the tool of the devil we should not use it that kind of attitude uh, made people to draw back from by using these digital tech, uh, these platforms to share the gospel with new with each new advance from computers to the internet and now social media and beyond the church is often at best slow to embrace them or at worst we can see new technology as the enemy but as christians 
but we must see these as opportunities, not obstacles. This digital technology is not an obstacle, but it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to share the gospel. We see that it's very awesome, it's incredible how much technology fits into our mobile phones, which we can hold in our palm of our hands. Isn't, isn't it amazing? Some have asked, is it time to abandon radio? Absolutely not. We have seen, we see the vital importance of the radio around the world. Uh, let us see how the radio is being involved. Find out how AWR Radio has gone past the steel cold guns straight into the hearts of ruthless rebels. This is AWR 360. Adventist World Radio has been broadcasting God's last day message to the unreached people groups of the world in their own languages from its very beginning. AWR began 48 years ago in 1971, and our mission and vision have grown beyond all expectations. I believe Jesus is coming very, very soon, and all God's people must take part in spreading the gospel all around the world, all around this old ball of mud. Our expanded focus of AWR 360 broadcast of baptism reaches people not only through the radio, but also through most media platforms, cell phone evangelism, and mobile medical clinics. Now incredible results are happening all over the world because of this enhanced direction, which by the way, was the dream of Alan Steele, the founder of Adventist World Radio. One of those meetings took place one year ago on the island of Manduro in the Philippines. Along with the broadcasts, many meetings took place and more than 2,000 were baptized. Then soon after, over 77 new villages turned their lives over to the Lord as the layman radio hosts kept preaching. But then some of the new listeners made a surprise visit to one of our AWR radio broadcasters, Robert Dulai. As he was biking home one day, he saw four strangers at his front door. They told him they were rebels. On March 29, 1969, the New People's Army was formed. Armed with weapons, they gradually infiltrated the country. Their goals have been to overthrow the government and establish a Maoist-style communist regime they regularly ambush police and military forces. Are these men and women to be feared for their brutality, to be rejected and abandoned? Or is God calling his faithful to go out into the highways and byways to preach there too? They pleaded with us to send someone to the village to preach, as they had been listening to the radio and wanted to know more about Jesus. It is now four months later, AWR 360 is heading to the Forbidden Mountain area in the midst of where these rebels live. Where Jesus went, he often healed those around him. In like manner, we are bringing in a team of medical laymen who are committed to following God's healing message across the Philippines. Helping take the medical supplies to the staging point is the Philippine military, the 4th Division's Scorpion Unit. Seeing the good work that AWR has done in reaching the rebel soldiers, they put forth their full support of what we are doing. They load the supplies, and before we head out, we have a prayer. AWR, the medical layman, and the military, all praying hand in hand to our God for His blessing in what we are about to do. Finally, after a long and difficult drive, we reach the staging point. As we wait, we notice many porters coming down the trail. They will help carry the supplies the rest of the way up the mountain. This will be a long trip with a very heavy load. Some of the porters are members of the rebel group. Once again, have a prayer. And then the supplies are loaded for the journey ahead. We say goodbye to the layman and the villagers as they make their way up the trail. 
it will be a tiresome trek through the jungles, rivers, and mud. It will take at least eight hours for some to reach the village. For others, it will be an overnight walk. The next morning, we board a small mission helicopter, and it takes us to the top of the mountain. I smile as I relive God's miracles and how he reached the rebellious, militant-minded soldiers that we were about to meet face to face. As the helicopter comes to a halt, I look at the crowd gathered before us. They are lit with smiles. We are welcomed and the natives eagerly give us a tour. It's amazing to see how these precious people live. Then I sit down with Efren, the first one who started listening to AWR. My life was always on edge. I did many things I would rather not talk about. But one day, as I was listening to the radio, something different came on. It was AWR's health program. As I listened, I discovered that these people were helping many with their health problems. They also talked about the Supreme Healer, one whose life was devoted to others rather than himself. This thought appealed to him, and he felt the need to share it with others. Then he began to wonder, who are these people who are sharing this loving message? He knew he had to find out for himself. I had to know more, so I sought out the speaker of this program. I sent fellow members of my unit to invite him to the mountaintop. The road they took down many times had been used to hurt or injure, but this time it was different. My friends asked him, please come preach to us in the mountains. shared how he has a desire to learn more about Jesus. And AWR 360 was happy to oblige. Many layman pastors also climbed the mountain to preach. And soon many new rebels heard about God through the radio and Bible studies. And they too had the need to share it with others. And then the day came when Ephraim himself walked down the mountain with one final request. I want to be baptized, and so do many others. And so, on top of this once dangerous mountain, layman doctors healed those who were sick, and the mouths were cleaned by the volunteer dentists. Our AWR 360 team spoke with many villagers and prayed with many more. Additional rebels arrived, because they were interested in witnessing what was going on. Our team preached to them, and then it was time to baptize those who had made their decision for Christ. It was a joyous walk to the baptismal site, and I believe all of heaven was rejoicing with us. as we watch Pastor McKee baptize five rebel generals. Well, as you have witnessed that video and we are going to share that link with you, as we have seen, even in this 21st century, the radio is still uh, is an applicable app, uh, a tool for us, for the people who are in remote places to share the gospel with them. And we see this but we have to keep pushing forward to new technologies to meet the people where they are. That is where cell phone evangelism has come in, using mobile applications like WhatsApp to share the good news. We see, where are the people today? We see the people are in social media. People are in these media platforms. So we need to broadcast them the salvation message in the media platforms. As we have looked all around. Have you ever been traveled on a local train or a public transport, public transport bus? And when you looked all around the people, what are they doing? They are on their phones, they are on social media. Many people are on Facebook or WhatsApp or some other forms of 
social media. That's where the vast majority of people are today. Yes, when Jesus was on this earth, he went to the people where they are. He went to the people, he went to the marketplaces, he went to synagogues, he went to wherever the people are available. He went to them and he shared the good news of salvation. In the same way, now in this 21st century, the people, the multitudes are in social media. That's why we need to adapt this media ministry as one of the tools for us to reach many more people for Christ. We see Facebook has 1.94 billion users and we have Facebook Messenger has 1, 1 billion users, WeChat 846 million, Instagram 600 million, Twitter has 317 million, Snapchat has 300 million and Viber has 800 million. And we see all around the world, according to the statistics of January 2020, digital around the world in 2020, we have the population of 7.75 billion people all, all around the world. Out of all of them, 5.19 billion people are using cell phones, mobile phones. And 4.54 billion, they have the access for internet. And we see 3.80 billion people are using social media platforms. Which means, on daily basis we see that many people are accessing social media. We have 3.80 billion people who are on social media and out of, out of 3.80 billion, 99% of the people are accessing the social media through cell phones, through their mobile phones. Yes, you are correct. You can see these statistics now. And we also can see that daily active social media users, according to the research, 3.5 billion social media users, which means out of 7.75 billion, which means 775 crores of people, we have 380 crores of people are using the social media which means vast majority of the people are using social media. We can reach to them through, through the social media. Unless we use this digital technology, we cannot reach them. That's why for a person to travel in the past, it used to take a, uh, around months together from a person from uh, abroad to come into India, or to, come, to go to Africa to preach the gospel. But now because of this digital technology, we can we can communicate with each other. Though they are from they are in America or they are in Andhra Pradesh, though they are in uh, Meghalaya or they are in uh, Mexico, they can they can immediately with this digital technology they can access to the, to each other by this video interface. Yes, because of this digital technology today we are communicating the gospel, and because of this lockdown we see. Most of the churches, they're adopting this digital technology. They're using Facebook Live and they're using, oh, they're using Zoom apps to preach the gospel, which is very nice so that people can interact with each other. People can uh, learn the message of salvation by being at their homes. Yes, though the situation is uh, all around the world, is very worse, but because of this digital technology, we can nurture the people though they are at home. And we can see that there is a great advantage for us to Is there something wrong? We can hear you. You are muted now. Okay, now we can hear you. Okay, is there any problem before prior to this? No. Okay, thank you. In the year 2009, only 11 years ago, WhatsApp, a service that amazed 400 million users in the first four years, And we can see that this application grows with almost 1 million people per day. At present, WhatsApp has 2 billion 
which means 200 cores of people on WhatsApp, which is very good for us. The only business people are exceeding their business through social media. They're advertising their brand. Those of us who are in God's business need to use it much more to advance the gospel because our brand is the gospel for free of cost. Yes, we are all in the business of God. We are all God's missionaries. We need to reach them person to person, with person to person communication. We need to reach to them personally. When this situation comes like this, we never knew that the world is going to become more, much more worse than now, which, which is in this state, state now. We can see that the world has undergoing this pandemic situation. Because of that, all the churches were closed. Soon they're going to reopen them, but only limited, only 10 people or only 20 people can attend the church, which is very unusual. But we can, through this digital technology, we can reach every person who are on the social media, which means 3.80, which means 380 crores of people are on social media. We can reach them by just with our fingertips. We can see that Mark Zuckerberg in one of the statistics uh, meetings, he, he said, we have 2 billion plus active users for Messenger, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp Messenger. Yeah, most of you would think when I share about this WhatsApp, oh, Pastor, we are using already this WhatsApp to share the gospel. Yes, most of you are sharing the messages in WhatsApp groups, isn't it? So you are thinking that you and I, we may think that we are sharing messages in all the groups which are unconnected to. Do you think all the messages which are sharing in the groups, are they watching them? No, you can, for myself, I have connected with around 25 groups. I don't have time to see each and every message what they're sharing in WhatsApp groups. If one of my friends, if they're sending me a personal message, I like, I'd like to see that message because he's sending to me personally. So we have personal message. We, we value the personal message rather than the group messages. Because the people are in busy world, we see that in WhatsApp groups, there are hundreds of people who, say, who just send good morning messages. There are hundreds of people who just send good night messages. So these are the messages, because of all this stuff, the WhatsApp memory, our phone memories are filled up and we are, some of, our, some of us are uh, uh, thinking of quitting from some of the groups, but because some of our friends would have added us into, that, in, into those groups. We don't want to quit from those groups because of our friends' sake. But we can see that in WhatsApp groups, we have innumerable messages, innumerable images, innumerable videos. That's why most of the people don't want to see group messages. Rather than, if you would have think that uh, Yes, I'm sharing the message in WhatsApp groups, they're watching. When, when a person, when they receive so many messages in WhatsApp groups, if they click one message and just scroll down one or two messages, and immediately if they come out of that group, it shows that they have read all the messages, all the notifications which, which, which I have shown before, around 200 plus messages are uh, in, the, in that group. But the person don't have the time. The person doesn't have time to go through all the messages. He may go through around 10 messages. And when he comes out, when she comes out of that group, it shows that all the messages are, messages are being read, whereas they have not seen your message. You may have good idea, good thought in your heart that to share the gospel in WhatsApp groups. But it's very... It's very unfortunate because of these lots of messages in WhatsApp groups. People are not watching what you're sharing in WhatsApp groups. But is there any alternative for us to share a, at one stretch, to share the messages to many people at one stretch? Yes, there is an alternative. We have WhatsApp broadcast. WhatsApp broadcast has the features that we can send them personal messages. 
you can add around two people minimum two people up to 256 people in one whatsapp broadcast before you ask the before you add them into your broadcast list i'm going to share all these details in further uh, slides but before you add them into your whatsapp broadcast you need to ask them to save your contact first if they save your contact you can save them you can add them to your broadcast list and you can send them messages messages from one place and the messages will be shared to them as personal messages though you are sharing them from one place as a group that message will be delivered for them as the personal message so in whatsapp broadcast we have personal messages personal care and person to person communication before we go further let's see this video we're here at victoria falls located on the border of zambia and zimbabwe these are the largest falls in the entire world This is a spot where Dr. Livingston viewed the falls for the very first time. He wrote, no one can imagine the beauty of the view from anything witnessed in England. Scenes so lovely must have been gazed upon by angels in their flight. To our eyes, it is a magnificent sight, but it is the work of God that captivates the angel's eyes. Such work is being done by cell phone evangelism. Let me tell you the story of Marius. Marius is a man who was born a Seventh-day Adventist here in South Africa. And he's been an elder in this church, taught Sabbath school, but he wanted to do something more, more for winning souls to the kingdom. So when he heard of cell phone evangelism, he thought to himself, hey, that's maybe something I should give a try. So after a long talk with God on a freeway, driving down, you know, late night, he said, Lord, I needed to be doing something more. And all that kept coming to his mind, cell phone evangelism. So he decided right then and there, he would start a group on his cell phone app. And he added his son, actually. His son hadn't been in church for about a decade. And he really wanted his son to reconnect with the Lord. So he started sending the uh, evangelistic series out through the cell phone. And his son started listening. And they began conversations about the different topics that were being shared. And his son was becoming more and more interested again. It is such a great feeling when family members reconnect with the Lord and you can share that with them. And this is what was happening for Marius. So in just a few weeks, actually, his son is gonna be baptized and everyone is so excited, along with several other people um, that he has reached through cell phone evangelism. And what's amazing is that in only just a few months, his network has grown to over a thousand people listening to the gospel on their cell phone. So thanks to Marius, these people are coming back to the Lord, back to Bible truth. So now Marius is winning souls for the kingdom of God and it's so exciting. At AWR, we love, love spreading the gospel. It truly is from broadcast to baptism. This is AWR 360. Yes, we, as you have seen in the video and some of you would have attended some of our uh, AWR 360 training programs, digital evangelism training programs. And I think most of you would need to learn, some of you would need to learn. So that's why I'm continuing with this presentation. How to create WhatsApp broadcast. To do this cell phone evangelism, you need to as I told you before, that we need to create WhatsApp broadcast. How to create a WhatsApp broadcast? When you open your WhatsApp, it just shows like this. And when you click on the right, right corner of your WhatsApp, there are three dots. You, can, you have to tap there. When you tap there, you will have new group or new broadcast then. First new group will be there, then new broadcast will be there. You need to create, uh, click on the new broadcast. When you click on the new broadcast, you can select the people whom you have already requested to save your contact number. If they have saved your contact number, you can add them into your broadcast. When you select the people, you can select 
minimum two people up to two you can select up to 256 people in one broadcast list when you click on the contacts they will be added into that broadcast if you have selected 14 people in one broadcast for example that shows that in the broadcast um, list ramesh just just one second you're you're showing in whatsapp business so you can have this in whatsapp the normal whatsapp also yes same same yes. okay okay so continue thank you yeah for whatsapp broadcast whatsapp business you have some more features in that uh, whatsapp business you can share you can send automatic conversation messages and you can send send away messages when you are not free when somebody some person texts you automatically your mobile phone it texts automatically saying that uh, thank you for contacting us so and so you can uh, create a send away message in whatsapp business and you have a short link in whatsapp business these are there are many options in whatsapp business than normal whatsapp if you would like to uh, download whatsapp business that will be more ideal and you can use this whatsapp broadcast even in normal whatsapp when you create this whatsapp broadcast when you click on the contacts you can just add them as one broadcast list the people whom you have already asked them to save your contact once you have selected the people once you click on the tick mark and the recipients how many recipients you have selected it shows their 14 recipients for example and you need to change if you need to change that uh, 14 recipients name into some of the one of your broadcast list name for example i'm going to click on this uh, pen mark when you click on that you can change the first broadcast list as cpe1 which means cell phone evangelism 1 so if you create the first broadcast list that will be your first broadcast list and the people whom you have added you need to note down in a book or somewhere that so that you will not add them into other broadcast list because once you add people into your first broadcast list and once you start sharing the message we are go i'm going to send you uh, if you can send me uh, your email address i can send you these audio files of cell phone evangelism in your email you can download them in your, in your phones and those for those files will be available in your phone so that you can send them messages in this whatsapp broadcast list these audio files are available from aws uh, already we have uh, most of the indian languages are being recorded for example hindi bengali Canada, Telugu, Tamil, all these languages are being recorded already. We have these audio files. We can share these audio files links to you through Google Drive. You can download them in your phones. So you can listen to them and you can share with your friends. And uh, how to do this? You, when you create your cell phone evangelism one, CPE one, first broadcast list, you start sharing the messages. For example, when you send first message, you will be you will be giving them some greeting, saying that thank you for uh, choosing to receive this broadcast. So you can give them a greeting, uh, greetings to you in the name of Lord Savior Jesus Christ. You can give them a greeting in your language. For example, here in my screen, you can see that this is the eleventh message what I have sent, I just screen, uh, took the screenshot. Before you send any audio files, for each sermon has three, three files, which means for each sermon, we have three segments. Because the people's listening span is just from five minutes to seven minutes. So that's why these files are segmented as, uh, one sermon is segmented as three files, uh, three parts. So that you can, you can send them these three parts at, at one stretch, but they can listen to them during the week whenever they want. If they are free, they can listen at one stretch. If they are some, uh, they have busy. If they are busy, they can listen the second part second time. Uh, because if you send the full message, 25 minutes sermon at once, one as one audio file, they don't know where they have stopped before. So it will be hard for them to 
a trace uh, where they have stopped last time. That's why these files are segmented as three parts. So when you send first sermon, for example, you are going to give the title of that sermon. That gives you uh, and gives them also a good picture that uh, when you delete from your phone memory, when you erase your phone memory, and though you have uh, these files are being removed, but these files, these files titles will show that this is a sermon which you have sent last week. For example, sermon 11. It shows that sermon 11 I have sent 27th January 2019. So, so you can see that the next week I need to send so and so sermon. Though you you may re remove these audio files, you may not have access them to listen. But the title shows that you have sent the last week you have sent the so and so sermon. So now you need to send the 12th sermon. So that gives you good uh, good track of your uh, sermons what you are sending them. And also uh, I would like to show you how to attach these files. You need to click on this, uh, you know that attach mark. When you click on that, you have audio files. Once you download these audio files into your mobile phones, you can access them from here. Just click on them and just play and select OK. Then once the, the, that sermon, that file being loaded, please wait until it's get loaded. Because if you're selecting the second part immediately, if the first part has 3 MB and if the uh, second part has 2 MB, the second part will load before this first part. So it will create confusion for the person who receives there. That's why each file you need to select separately and you need to send them. Once it is being loaded and gets the tick marks, then you need to select the second part. And once it's get loaded, and you need to select that third part. These three parts of one sermon, when you send to the people, they will have a whole week for them to listen to that sermon. And in cell phone evangelism, we need to know that you need to broadcast to them just weekly once. Because you may think, I, I have a lot of information, a lot of messages, I want to share every day. If you are free to share them, but they are not free to listen to the what the content what you are sharing. That's why we need to give them space. We need to give them time over one week. And meanwhile, you can text them during the week, brother or sister, are you listening to the message what I have sent? You can communicate with them during the week, but just wait for one week to send the next message for them. Uh, purposely, I'm skipping one more video. We have here, Hi, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to send you one link since we have uh, very less time. And we have, as Adventist World Radio, we have established Center for Digital Evangelism. So this Center for Digital Evangelism is being established in Philippines, and the same branch is being established in, in India also. By God's grace, we are leading this team and some of our friends who are from Thousand Missionary Movement also. I can see Sumitro is also working with us uh, in uh, answering the calls of the uh, CD. When people call us, uh, we people call us for prayer requests and Bible uh, studies and all. There are, uh, we are going to let you know all these details later in my presentation. This Center for Digital Evangelism, we have lot of resources to provide to you because some of you some of you would have uh, some difficulty uh, in in getting the content but you can access to our website www.awr.org you can have access and we have many adventist websites also you can go to amazing facts uh, website you can go to bibleinfo.com these are all our Adventist uh, uh, resources you can find from there. And I'm going to share with you one important aspect of cell phone evangelism, which is called AWR chatbot. Just till now you have learned how to do WhatsApp broadcast. And I'm going to share with you about AWR chatbot. You can see the number here. Uh, 
if it is possible just take screenshot or just note down with your phone in your phone or, or take click a photo of this slide so that you can have this number uh plus 1 949-860-7007. This is our AWR chatbot. AWR chatbot is automated conversation, communication uh, chatbot. In this we can, uh, sometimes you may not have time to send the files regularly every week, but if you introduce to the people who are in contact with you, just if you introduce this AWS chatbot and ask them to save this number and text there. For different languages, we need to uh, send different uh, codes. I'm going to share with you all these things. For Hindi, for example, you need to, you need to just text in the chatbot saying Namaskar. When you send NA, MA, SKAR, Namaskar, automatically there will be a message coming in into your, your WhatsApp saying that welcome in Hindi. So you will get all this information. So you will be getting one link to listen to these sermons just like this. You can see this uh, picture here, right? And you can, if you want to receive these files in English, just send their hello. If you send hello, automatically you will be subscribed into the chatbot and you will receive these sermons as, as, as the link it shows here. If you click on that link, it will lead to the audio player. And you can click on that audio player, play or pause. When you click on that audio player, you, you can listen to those sermons one by one. And also every week, once you once you receive this week one sermon, the next week it will ask exactly on the time. Uh, for example, so and so uh, here my chatbot says, Ramesh, we hope we hope you are enjoying your lessons. The next scheduled lessons in the series is now ready for you. Text the word next to receive the lesson. When I text next, automatically I will I will receive the next sermon. The next uh, next link for the sermon. If you would like to receive audio files rather than the link, you can just click there or you, you can just type there audio. When you type audio, from next week onwards, you will be receiving audio files, not the link. And this uh, AWR chatbot has many more features. As you are all missionaries, I need to share with you all these things because you are going to use them to reach the people. In this, in this AWR chatbot, we are all as God's people and God's missionaries. You can subscribe as evangelist. When you, when you text there as evangelist, automatically they will, they will send you one link. In that link, if you click there, it will ask you some information to feed their, your first name and all. When, once you feed the, those details, you will get one code saying uh, hello 159 or hello 175 or hello 169. That is your code. You can share that code along with the AWR chatbot number. If you share this, this code with them, just save this number and just send their, this code automatically once they, once they send Hello 175, for example, or Hello 169, for example. My code is Hello 169. Once you save this chatbot in your phone, and once you text Hello 169, automatically you will be assigned as my student, and I am as your evangelist. You will be receiving sermons. If you are a if you subscribe as evangelist, you can send that code to your friends so that they can be assigned as your students and if they have any Bible questions and all, and you will be assigned as their evangelist. And you can visit this website, uh, awr.org slash inspired slash. To know more about this one, 
uh, which language for which language which code i need to send we have whatsapp uh, for whatsapp we need to send hello to certain number if you are facebook messenger you can introduce to them if they don't have whatsapp you can introduce to them in whatsapp uh, facebook messenger to type there hello to at uh, to at at the rate of inspire 316 now once they uh, once they click on that uh, facebook messenger chatbot automatically they will get the welcome message and all this if you need to see these details just go to this website awr.org/inspire/ if you type on your uh, mobile phone or in your uh, system you can just see that this link here if you want to change the language just click on that change language and you will have all these languages available afrikaans spanish german tagalog portuguese tamil burgundian kannada hindi malayalam german telugu marathi punjabi so we have several indian languages also so you can you can introduce to them the code which is showing there if you if you introduce to them that code that code they can just select on that code automatically it shows like this for example for for hindi you need to send namaste n a m a s t for marathi you need to share namaskar automatically the summons the links will be sent to them in marathi language if they send n a m a s t e namaste automatically the links will be shared to them in hindi language so these are the options which we have in awr chatbot and for those of you who wants to subscribe as evangelist just visit this website i'm just showing you here please see in my screen cde.awr.org/cellphone-evangelism/ if you just take the screenshot and you can visit this website later on there you can have these are the comments which you need to do for your uh, enrollment as a preacher as a as a evangelist for example for english you need to send the evangelist for kannada you need to say suvartha bodaka for hindi you need to say send their pracharak in the same way in telugu we need to say suvartikudu so once once a person sends in the chatbot suvartikudu or pracharak they will be assigned as the as the evangelist for certain language and they will get a code for example for for telugu people who wants to receive these chatbot messages in their mobile phones they in that uh, chatbot they need to send vandanalu so once they send vandanalu automatically they will be uh, getting these telugu sermons and one of the telugu evangelists will be assigned for them to answer their questions and all isn't it uh, interesting for all of you i hope you are understanding this and if you have any doubts Uh, at the end of the presentation i'm going to share with you my contact details so that you can contact me and you can ask me personal questions so that i can share with you all these are the social media platforms we are uh, doing this chatbot for facebook messenger at inspire 360 now for whatsapp plus 9 plus 19498607007 for telegram at the rate of r360 bot for viber you can click on the icon uh, in the website and for uh, us and canada we have this sms facility also they will receive the files but as you are seeing this once you select once you want to uh, send there as uh, evangelist command you will get one link once you click on that link it will ask evangelist profile information you need to click on that first name and your last name and your cell phone number email address and retype email address and your pastor's full name it will ask the pastor's cell phone number and then it will ask pastor's email id this email id you can say, you can just give your uh, your uh, instructors your teachers uh, uh, email id because they are your uh, all seers they are your pastors they are your teachers you can just give their email id this email id 
gives them a reference email uh, you need not to wait until uh, you will get any message you will be receiving this message if you have any trouble you can contact them and uh, if you do any wrong they will uh, have a, they will have a access to block you so that's why you need to give your passes number and all so they can they can monitor you so once you do that you can submit the profile information after you do that you will get success this message you will get and you will also get in your whatsapp one great one this uh, contact sharing card you can see that my code is here hello 169 i can just send this greeting this card to the people and they once they once they send in the chatbot hello 169 i will be assigned as their teacher and they will be as my students and if they have any questions they can directly contact me because my number will be shared with them so these are the options which we have in this aws chatbot and i need not to share with you all uh, more about this youtube because your teachers are there they can teach you how to create a youtube channel for yourself and and you can uh, record yourself ramesh maybe you can just briefly briefly you can share about youtube and since you are taking the seminar so you can just share about youtube also yes sure you can. thank you so in youtube well, you can if you have a google account that itself your youtube account also so once you go into your youtube account uh, youtube uh, once you sign into your google google account so you can just go to google uh, youtube and you can just create a name there your email id will be there you can just create a name for example uh, whatever the name you want to give for your ministry for your sermons you you can just give a title there to show that what are you going to share in that channel create a youtube channel for yourself and you can record sermons for by your mobile phones and now we have lots of video editing apps for example power director kinemaster all these apps you have you can just create some slides create some slides in the powerpoint you can just uh, uh, you can just paste them in that uh, in that app where you are editing the video and you just you can just record your voice through your headphones or through just with your mobile phone and nowadays we have so much of uh, access for us to buy stores online you can just you can just go to amazon.com or amazon.in or uh, flipkart you can just purchase a good microphone which can be useful for you to just record with a good quality voice if the, the microphone will be costing only around 300 to 500 rupees if you purchase that uh, microphone you can record your sermons audios or videos so if you have good quality mobile phone that's enough for you to record your sermon just go uh, ask your friend and you have uh, we also have this mobile uh, holding stands tripods which is costing only around uh, 500 to 700 rupees you can purchase one of the uh, tripods also so you can fix your mobile phone there you need not anyone's help you can just uh, attach your microphone there you can just create a sermon you can just record a sermon and you can just record a health talk you can do some uh, biblical counseling whatever you want to uh, give in that uh, recording you can just record and you can just edit that sermon in the power director app or kinemaster app you can attach some slides into that after you create a powerpoint you can just change them into jpeg format and those jpeg format pictures you can attach them in your sermon uh, while you edit in your in your uh, mobile phone itself because i do the same i don't have any uh, computer software to edit my videos i'm just doing from my mobile phone so we have uh, this uh, this uh, access for us in our mobile phones and we have so many apps to edit these uh, recordings and all and you can just upload them just go into youtube and there will be upload button you can just click on that upload button immediately you can upload that sermon after you upload it you can just copy that link and you can share that link in whatsapp facebook and whatever the 
media platforms you are using, you can share to the people so that they can be directed to your message in YouTube. And we have also Facebook. I think I, I hope most of you are on Facebook. If you have not signed up for Facebook, you can just sign up for Facebook. You can create an account with your email account itself. With your Gmail account itself, you can create it. And you can add friends to reach them for Christ. And weekly or whenever you're free, you can give Facebook Live because, because of this uh, lockdown, many people are thriving to listen to the sermons. They are free at home. They are uh, like uh, homebound. And because of that situation, they are looking wrong stuff, wrong sermons. As Adventists, God's people, if you share them the truth of this Bible, and if you share the messages of end time, the people are available. People are there to watch your sermons. And I have trained one brother, uh, one of the missionaries from Thousand Missionary Movement India. Uh, his name is Joy Mandal. Most of you would have known he's working in Calcutta. Last time, by God's grace, I got, I got the privilege to train him. Now he's doing wonderful ministry uh, in YouTube. He's sharing his sermons on weekly basis. And he's uploading them. I taught him how to do editing and all. If you have any questions, you you feel you can feel free to ask me the questions in my email or in my WhatsApp number. I'm going to share with you at the end of this presentation. And also, I'm going to share with you some details about this Center for Digital Evangelism toll-free number. This CDE we have in Philippines and also same branch of that in India. We have toll-free numbers. For these toll-free numbers, people can call from different languages. For, for example, Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, Marathi, Bengali, Malayalam, all these languages. People can call uh, at one time, and these calls can be uh, received through our softwares in the CDE. So if 10 people are uh, active in that uh, idol, uh, active in that uh, software to receive the calls, these, if the people all around the world, uh, all around India, if they're calling us, those 10 calls can be segregated, uh, can be uh, segregated for 10 people, which means just like call centers, we have as Adventist Church, God has given us this technology to answer the people's questions, to pray for them, to comfort them. We are giving biblical counseling, we are giving them comfort from the word of God, and we are sharing the good news through these toll-free numbers. We have seen there are many prayer centers in India. Uh, they have, they are sharing their mobile phones, which means when you call them, they will be charged for your mobile phone, for your uh, tariff plans. But for them, for us, for us, we have toll-free numbers, which means the people which, who call us, they will not get, they will not be charged, but we are going to be charged. But for that, the church is, the, the church is paying all, uh, around $500 per month, which means our church is investing a lot for God's kingdom to be proclaimed, good news of salvation to be proclaimed, and the God's kingdom could be advanced, and the people can be reached to the foot of Christ. And we can see Pastor Doug Batchelor, uh, when he preaches in, on a, in some of the Indian television shows, for example, Shubh Sandesh in Hindi, Subhuvarta in Telugu, and Nirikshana TV in Telugu, and Nambika channel in Tamil. We have several channels in India. So for all these channels, they are broadcasting their sermons. They are telecasting their sermons. And, and for prayer requests, they are showing our toll-free number. 000 40 1702. When they watch these programs, people are calling us and people are asking us for prayer requests and for book requests, all these. And, and as missionaries, as you finish your training and as you finish your uh, uh, mission work for one year, you can join us also to, in this ministry so that you can be part of us. You can, we all can work together for God's glory. We, we are in need of Hindi people and uh, Bengali people and and Tamil people. We need we are in need of Telugu people. So we there are a lot of job opportunities for all of you to do the ministry 
through this digital evangelism. Finally, I just want to share with you uh, my contact details. You can text me on WhatsApp. Uh, you can just uh, send me a friend request on Facebook and you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are a Telugu person <laughs> because I'm, I'm sharing at present in, in this channel only Telugu sermons and soon we are going to create an English uh, channel also. Hopefully, or we are going to, please subscribe, we are going to make them as playlists, some of the English sermons also. And please feel free to text me in email so that I can send you the Google Drive links for you to download the audio files of those sermons. And we have some PowerPoints also to share with you. You can, you can just text me in, in this email account so that I can share with you all. Thank you all. Thank you, Pastor uh, Abhishek Anna and uh, Brother Chipin. And thank you all. Thank you. May God bless you all. Okay. Um, thank you very thank much, you. Pastor Ramesh Kumar, uh, you, for that it's my privilege, my God's uh, presentation. Well, personally, I have learned a lot. And you know, I'm going to put into practice what I'm learning today. And I'm sure all the missionaries are also learning some practical lesson on how to do this social media ministry regarding yes, WhatsApp and also all the resources that you, Pastor, has provided.